So this was an excellent overview, and if you continue to watch more videos, um, you'll see where I've actually got a full SharePoint video series coming out um, that you can actually watch at no cost at all to you, so to speak, um, as the user. So it uh, should be very, very nice, and you can thank my students um, who definitely encouraged me, and thank the students who encouraged me to write a, to write an independent course um, in order to push out things like this and to be able to do independent courseware where I was able to have the opportunity 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 to do things like the like this despite despite a real busy teaching and consulting schedule for certain uh, I do teach a lot and um, consult a lot and I definitely love both of them so I hope you guys are liking this now for our very last series um, very last one over here what we're going to do guys is now we're gonna see how easy it is to edit a website once again this is only meant to get you into get you into the groove of things after that you can either continue to check the site for more updates or find several different reading sources or you name it. So it's all out there. But for right now, this last thing is what if we wanted to become a web designer? Okay? Or what if we need to alter, a, alter you know, a site and become a web designer? One thing that I always emphasize to people is that SharePoint makes it very, very, very possible for a user who, who traditionally probably wouldn't have been a web designer to become one. So there I've got a little picture over here, a little logo, as you guys can see. And I'm going to go ahead and take the logo for my particular site, and I'm going to stick it inside of SharePoint, so to speak, and use it as my own site and show you guys just how easy it is to be able to alter the look and feel of a site. So here we go. I'm going to open up my site first, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm on the home page. So clicking on the breadcrumb pop-up navigator right there, I come over here and I click on Team Site. There we go. Now, once I click on Team Site, there I am. I'm back to my original, original content over here, and this site even though it's got some built-in nice things like document libraries and whatever else, it's not really customized to what I need myself. So I need it to be customized to what I need. So I'm going to customize the look and feel of this and change it up a little bit. But I'm going to also add a couple things. So first, let me add a picture library. So I'm going to come down to Site Actions again. And by now, those of you who have gone through all the tutorials are probably sleeping through this stuff at this stage. I'm going to click on More Options. I'm going to click on libraries and there's a special type of library for designing pictures. Remember earlier I said that libraries especially work well with office documents. In fact you can think of them that way. That's true. Very very true. But they also work together really with any specialized sort of storage and that's something that I want you guys to understand over there as we've expanded the um, definition. So there's picture library over there and for this picture library I'm going to call it demo picture library. And as you guys can guess demo picture library is for storing pictures. I click create. Now, once I've got demo picture library up and up and going, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and actually add a picture inside of it. That's a really good idea. So I click upload over here and let upload come up. And upload should come up. Just there we go. There's upload. And now upload comes up and I'm going to click on upload a picture, just a single picture. I'm going to click browse. And I'm going to find that picture that I had brought in earlier, the picture that I showed you guys, site picture, and instructor Brandon 1, and open. There we go, and I'll click OK. There we go, and I'll give it a little title. Instructor Brandon, you guys get the point, over here. And then date picture taken, I can give it. So you guys see over here, I can take these sorts of things and and I can give them like dates for example the date the picture was taken for example and this is the logo for Brandon's teaching site which is actually true I can even give it some keywords to help search engines out so like like logo Brandon Amad you get the point whatever you want to put and it's a best practice to give it keywords so please keep that in mind now I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna click save there we go there's instructor Brandon right over there and I could even and I could even take instructor Brandon right and I can actually click on it right over there and when I actually turn around and click on it now I can actually then turn around and actually see the URL for the actual for the act for the actual picture so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the URL here right now and just take a look at it because we're gonna need that in just a second and by needing that so we're gonna right click on this little image over here come over here and click on properties and there's our URL right over there we'll need that because we're gonna use link to it so we're gonna all become web designers I'll just control C I'm just copying this so to speak or copy right there 
then I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay because I've already got that done now and I've already clicked on it and now that I've got that URL I've got some power here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and temporarily save it in notepad might as well just use notepad there and there's notepad right over there um, once we've got notepad over here now you guys can see that right over there so we've got all that done I'm now gonna take a I'm, I'm now going to go into the site settings and start to make some changes. So first I'm going to click site actions and now new point of the day site settings are where you can go over here to access all of the settings related to your particular site. Notice over here that there's a section called look and feel just as there was users and permissions earlier we could make changes. Here's look and feel right over here. Now on look and feel what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on title description and icon. Okay, now once I click on title description icon, our first title was team site. Instead, that's sort of ugly. So I'm going to change that and I'm going to call it Instructor Brandon's Demonstration. And maybe I even give it a give it a um, description. SharePoint in user training. For some of you, this might be your very first SharePoint course. Congratulations. But make sure you do the labs, because believe me, the labs make the course um, always, always, um, or labs highly complement the course, and I'll have instructions in there with, with how to do the labs. Now, for the actual URL coming over here now, that was that URL that we copied and pasted earlier. I'm going to stick it over here, and I'm going to put it like that. There we go. So there's my actual URL right over there. And some sort of alternative text is a best practice, because not everybody can see the URL or, or or in other cases we need we need search engines to be able to identify the URL or for screen readers so I'll just put something over here like this is the URL for the SharePoint site in user course sites even better and I will click OK there we go now once I've actually got that clicked on what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to click on site theme. Now what a theme is, is a theme allows us to change change, change the look and feel in terms of colors and style and things like that, so to speak. And yes, I could have given you a more technical definition, believe me. I've developed several websites. Um, but right now, though, just understand that this is a place we can go to change the entire look and feel of the site. So I start looking at these themes, and me, I'm going to look at them, and I'm like, wow. You know, I'm so impressed with classic. Look at that classic is just neat or woo laminate mm, some laminate I'm gonna go ahead and stay with classic though in this particular case and then it even tells me what happens on classic right so for example so for example if I have text background I want it to be dark on this particular link um, I want to use a heading font of Verdana you guys see what I mean so I define all this sorts of stuff and that's what a theme is it's a it's a set of styles that basically introduce uniformity like all all labeling text will be this size and this color for example, all paragraph text that we type in a paragraph will be this size. That's a theme. So these are pre-built themes that I can actually customize, but I'm just going to choose this one, um, classic, and then I'm going to click oh, apply. Now I could have clicked preview um, and actually seen it, but I'll click apply because, unlike the real world, this is actually a, this is actually the class environment, and the class I'm teaching in this case is is end user and how to use this. And look at that. There we go. I have just changed the site so I'll come back real quick to my head to my site and now look at the different look and feel it was that easy to be able to change the site that's what it involves see that's the power of SharePoint again that's the power of being able to allow something like this this is why I can t if you give me two days I can pretty much take well I've never met an end user that I couldn't train on how to build a website in fact, there are many cases where I've, taken, where I've seen end users turn around and actually surpass developers who've been working in the company for a long time because developers didn't know about this tool and the end users did, where end users were kicking out solutions. And I say that as someone who teaches developers, who loves to teach developers, um, that there are many, many cases where I've seen that just from knowing the tool. That's the significance of it. So I hope you guys really do like that. So having seen that over there now, that's our actual site over there. Now, there was one more thing too, though. Just one more thing to wrap this up. What if we wanted to change a section of the page with some sort of functionality? In other words, what if we wanted to do all that web part sort of stuff that I was telling you?